Alright guys, welcome to some XCOM. And today we are going to a UFO landing site. Yeah. Detected. So let's go send the Sky Ranger on a merry adventure down over there. So we got some new armor, new bling, basically to put on my guys. With the added structural support this suit provides, I expect the troops will take full advantage of the added firepower they can carry around. They'll also be much less susceptible to environmental hazards like fire while wearing it. Yeah, Mr. Shiv, you look like a fucking boss. Let's see, what, what, how should we make him look? Yeah, I like that one better. He looks more, he looks more Shiv-like. Alright, and so our good friend here... They look really fucking awesome, actually. Okay, so, um... I've had body armor on these guys this whole friggin' time. Um, I'm upgrading them to carapace armor. And they're gonna get, actually, something called ghost armor until, uh, but that comes much later. So don't really worry about that right now. Actually, it just occurred to me I need to give these guys a uh, new plasma rifles. Fucking space police. I should probably also consider upgrading their uh, their weapons right now, but right now I'm kind of using it to weaken down enemies. So that's what why we're not doing that right now. And uh, God damn, that's you're wearing beige. It looks ugly as shit. Whatever. He's gonna be the beige soldier. And uh, our last guy here. I did put Titan armor on, right? Oh, that looks good. Uh, oh yes, uh, one other thing is, I'm gonna give this guy a laser rifle. That's, be that's better than his shotgun, to be honest. I might as well since I have that. Um, I can't, I really shouldn't give it to my, yeah, he doesn't can't, can't even have the laser rifle anyways, this guy. The, the support can, uh, sorry, the assault can. I don't really don't know why that is, actually. I'm, out of curiosity, can I switch out a sniper rifle? Yeah. No, I can't. Because that doesn't even make sense either. The two laser pistols, actually. Do I have. Yeah, fuck that. Let's, let's go get some fucking plasma rifle. Uh, plasma pistols. Unless I can't get those. Oh, apparently, I guess I need research for that. Oh, uh, that's kind of odd. I didn't think that was actually the case. Alright, well, you know what? I'm content with that. Because we have, like, we have, like, people with, like, Two, like, plasma, some laser rifles. Like, literally, Ch Zhang is, like, the weakest guy, and he has two fucking rockets, okay? To, to back up his, uh, arsenal. And, oh, we can get alien grenades now. Might as well bring those out. These do, like, more damage. I don't know how much more. I think it's, like, five damage instead now. Might as well bring those out. Well, that's basically it for that. Scopes, uh, grenades, and medkits and an arc thrower. So let's go cap with some aliens. So where did this UFO land? In South America, okay. America! South side. Brazilian authorities have requested our help. So that's where we're going next. Reports indicate the UFO is set down in a sparsely populated area. We need to stay sharp and eliminate the invaders. This doesn't look like Brazil. Actually, I don't really know what Brazil looks like. <laughs> I, I just assume it doesn't look like this. These are pine this trees. We're in position near the enemy LZ. Strike one is ready to move on your orders. I read you, Big Sky. This was a landing, not a crash. So expect heavy resistance. Alright, we have... I'm not too fond of this area. Okay, I'm thinking of how to start this off. I think we started off by going this way. Because, uh, you know, I, I, I've had that last, the last couple of my engagements have been kind of out in the open. And I'm actually not too fond of doing that anymore. Because uh, it was, it just went awful those last few times, so. Uh, not this guy. Need my other sniper, SGT Dan. Uh, Sergeant Dan, whatever. Apparently, I was wrong about where he's for, uh, where he was being referenced from. It's not from Saving Private Ryan. It's actually from uh, 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 Forrest Gump. So, um, Mike Ladd, everyone, etc. You can go say that. I know it was some war movie. All right, we're gonna start heading up here. 
Oh, no contacts. Just make sure there are no contacts. There are absolutely, absolutely no contacts whatsoever. We can feel very safe and let our guard down at this moment. We want to actually take this hill here because this hill is actually um, uh, my snipers would, would really love it, love it. Like Volkov is over here going, please go take that hill, and I'm just like, oh, I don't know. All right, no one here. We'll look at this one here too. Yeah, there's nothing here. He's got, and he's got to take like a long way around. Everybody on Overwatch today. Now, this is a problem because we can hear someone over there, but we can't actually get a shot off. Because you know what? When, when we go up this hill, my snipers are going to be blocked, so we're going to actually begin moving this way. I know it's kind of weird for me to actually change my mind like that, but I was kind of actually hoping we'd see contacts up here and then I could just kind of go on top of the, the mountain here and just kind of like go, hey. Also, it's not a good idea for me to be bunching up like this. However, if I see enemies, I will spread immediately. Look how much the health they all have. There? What the hell? It's not carrying a weapon like the others. What could it be doing? Uh oh. Oh god, that's a berserker. That's not fucking good at all. Okay, they're kind of coming up behind me. So that's a um, that's a berserker. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Um, I want Mr. Shiv to actually get a shot off there. Uh, start moving our guys into cover. Actually, you can try and take two shots off. Because I just took, I just noticed that I'm, I'm bringing my laser guy over. Okay, intimidate. And usually what berserkers do is they get pissed. And they move in. All my game legs. So I'm going to actually move over here with this guy. Hopefully not triggering anyone in the process. Oh wait, how is this not a fucking shot? Are you kidding me? <sighs> well, he's got a machine gun. That's not going to barely do any damage. Maybe I should just... Well, I'm going to move actually this, this guy back. And, uh, uh, cause I don't want to actually get any... Okay, Dan's gonna move back the farthest, for sure. See how that works out. Okay, he's gonna get a little mad. I don't know what the hell my game is doing, but it's freezing up. And I think I should get a shot with the MG off. Try this. Excellent. Okay, so that means he's gonna. We're, we're kind of like ping ponging him around. Okay, now he's over here. Uh, I, I really want to go and tase this guy. I don't have a whole lot of good shots for this though. But if we're if we want to tase, you gotta... Uh, yeah, they're a little pumped up, I just realized, but let's try it. Sun failed. That's unfortunate. Okay, we gotta take him down then. However, in the meantime, we'll... Uh, we, we still can't get a... We still... How can we still not shoot him? See, there's, a, there's like a muton right there, and I'm just like... I'm like, I gotta be fucking crazy if I'm gonna be staying here and... <laughs> See, my worry is more what he's gonna do when he's fucking done.
I, I have to I have to bring this guy down. Okay, I, I got an idea somewhat. This guy's gonna be the most likely to get shot at, so let's take him down here. Are you joking? I missed. Alright, well then overwatch. Cause he's like right here, and that's not good. Yeah, that's that's just it wasn't happening today. Hopefully Dan doesn't die. Uh, also, Mr. Shiv might get shot. Alright, they decided not to open up with the sh with shooting me, so... I really wanted to bring a Berserker home today, but uh, that wasn't gonna happen. I mean, I tried. You know what? Mr. Shiv has had a really good track record. It's not his fault. You know, he's not... Oh, why is it trying to do pistol shot? I'm trying to, like, I've been actually playing really risky. Uh oh. Like, kind of like this. But he's okay. <laughs> I like how Mr. Shiv's just frozen. He's like, cannot compute. Why can't we, uh, we can't get another opening with him? I thought I had double sh fire. Okay, why is it that all of my people can't shoot? Why? Why can't? Oh, it's a laser pistol. That's why. I'm a retard. I'm a retard. Sorry. I don't know why he can't shoot because he's supposed to have double tap. Oh. I don't. I don't really need to bring any more uh, laser rifles. Home, so later. Rotato. Well, okay. Um, that's a, that was that was unfortunate, really. Though I I kind of I really want to bring home some some shit. So. But I guess I can't. I'm, that wasn't gonna happen. Not today. Uh, so let's start reloading everybody. Because I'm kind of lacking on the reloads here. You know, sometimes Mr. Shave, you miss. It happens. Even to, even to the best of the marksmen out there. Alright, well, uh, let's move up this guy over here. We're gonna go up this edge of the map. So yeah, that was that was that was terrifying to be honest. Like, cause they they came like right pretty much, right on our flank there. All right, and we're gonna bring this guy right here. Wow, this is like this is like the very edge of the map. Like he's like, kind of like just kind of squished in between. Look how much freaking health he has. It's like taking up like the the entire bloody screen. Oh, here we go. Or not. Uh, hey, you're a uh, torso in a mountain. Where the fuck are they? Okay, that's a glitch. Um, there's no reason they should have triggered there. Kinda crappy, not gonna lie. I, I can't do very much about that. They can't they just kinda just triggered there, so um I gotta hope for the best. If they don't come they don't come into a position where uh they can kill me. Because now they can possibly be on Overwatch, like on the other side of the frickin' map. Yeah. This is this is why it's really difficult to do something like Iron Man or something like uh, Iron Man Impossible, because it's just like what do I do? I I can't just reload it. Ah, that's a landed UFO. Okay, is this like the very edge of the map here? Yeah, this is the edge of the map. I don't really want to trigger anybody, so we're not going to go very much farther up. Uh, we can go over here. Alright, do we see someone? Oh, they're behind us. Oh shit, it's a cyber disc. Yes, yes, shoot that guy. Thank you. I saw I saw mutons before, now it's like now it's just cyber discs. I'm, I'm quite content with just shooting that guy. Nope, 
Now he was, Volkov was actually aiming for an acorn that was in a tree uh, three kilometers away. Because he figured he had this shot to not kill him, I guess. Well, it's all up to you. I like to make a cinematic takedown. All right. Whew. All right. Um, I have a couple of options here. I could possibly go up here, or I could just wait for them to come to me. There they are. The fancy music just started up. I'm trying to get these guys into the best cover I could possibly give them. I can't really give them that great of a cover, though. Oh, wait, I just... I think... No, he didn't trigger him. It's okay. We're not, still not in sights. <laughs> Mr. Major Mr. Shiv has earned a promo promotion. Alright, and here's the last one. You know, I like I like I like having him with this thing much better. Oh fuck! <laughs> Never a moment's peace in XCOM, guys. <laughs> By the way, I just want to mention I haven't actually manually triggered these guys at fucking all. They've all kind of they found me this whole fucking time. Oh boy. Aim for that guy first. Alright. Uh, no, we're gonna aim for that one. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm having fun with this, believe it or not. Oh, we really missed? Oh. Uh, let's see. What else can we do? Oh, we can try and get another pistol shot, like, here. I don't really care. Come on. Yeah! Okay. And now you just kind of go over here. Oh, I could stun him, but I could actually see an enemy that I, I just occurred to me. I only have one stun left, so fuck it. <laughs> Mr. Shiv ain't taking your shit today. Mr. Wayne. And someone else is gonna come out of the forest. Nope, that's not the case. Okay, well, reload everyone. Reload. And yeah, whatever the key is for this. I was I was thinking of just stunning him, but you know I've already I've already captured one of him, one of those guys, one of the mutons, so it would have been just kind of for for fun. I was thinking of doing it for fun if I had one more stun left, but I was trying to get a berserker before and I forgot. Hey, this is a bit of a post editing because uh, this mission was actually like 50 minutes long, so I figured I'd uh, speed it up during parts of which I was doing a lot of moving and not actually seeing a whole lot, or like. Like, I was kind of starting to play cautiously, because if you've noticed in a couple of missions, I've been playing it kind of stupidly. Uh, and I'm also a little worried, because uh, I did see those mutons spawn, and I I wasn't sure if it was actually the one that... The, the, the group that I just killed, you saw you, you saw me killing beforehand. And something I do mention here at some point was... Um, I noticed that I didn't actually give Dan the proper armor that I actually wanted him to have for this mission. Uh, the uh, That carapace armor that I, that I gave to my sniper. Anyways, you can see I'm moving uh, him up here because I'm hearing those guys constantly. Uh, I'm hearing something there. However, uh, I start to think that they're actually probably on the other side and that it would probably be a better idea if I just kind of move them on top of that hill there uh, to give them like a big open line of sight to basically kind of shoot down upon them. And that was kind of my plan here. Uh, so I'm, I'm obviously moving in Mr. Shiv first because he's... Um, uh, my snipers are more fragile than he is, uh, especially especially Dan right now. Dan doesn't have the armor I wanted. It's not like he'd be in danger anyways, but I'm less likely to actually go and uh, put him into danger because of that. I call him Danger Dan, I don't know. 
Uh, but now, uh, now I'm basically deciding, okay, let's go open that door, like there's a nice door there. Could this be the ship responsible for the attacks taking place during the alien abductions? Oh shit, well we have a giant spooky ship and a giant fucking door, so... Now let's go see what's behind the door. Obviously there's nothing there because, uh, you know, I don't want to be a spoiler guy, but, you know, obviously it's still speeding up, but I would probably, you know, slow it down at least a little bit before something interesting happened, don't you think? Yeah, post-editing post, post -editing Mike is a giant asshole when it comes to this stuff, but it's a very long mission and uh, plenty, plenty of things going for you. Oh man, I won't spoil the ending for you. Well, back to your regularly scheduled Mike commentary. Bye. They're holding tanks of some kind. As repugnant as the thought may be, this is most likely how they keep their latest test subjects alive. Alright, well, move over there. Uh, I'm thinking of who to put in there first. I guess my uh, assault will be the one in the front lines here. All right, and I'm gonna move just Volkov over here. Uh, you know, can we just throw like a, a, a grenade like right here? Let's try that. Just to just kind of to see what the, what's on the side there. It's, it doesn't really seem to ever do what it's what it claims it will do. To be honest. Oh, uh, I'll keep Dan here because I, I really don't want to move him in. What the- oh shit. Why am I hearing him over here now? What the fuck? This is getting scary. Okay, the fact I'm hearing them over here now... Is making me freak the fuck out and we're going to go back because they're heading kind of towards my lone sniper over here oh boy dash as, as hard as you can motherfuckers I mean like now that nothing is actually opened up here uh, Because he's out here in the open because, well, not really out in the open, but he's got like full cover. Even still. I'm scared. Okay, nothing, nothing's here. It's clear right now. And my best sniper is actually not in a position to help at all. Fuck. XCOM is a game about scaring the fuck out of Mike. Where are you hearing him? It must be like right in that corner there. All right, well, Volkov can now actually come all the way down here. Oh, well, actually, we'll, we'll, he'll do that in a minute. What we're gonna do is we're gonna actually move this guy right here. Okay, well, now that we don't see anybody there. Everyone will come up. Okay, and Volkov will come over here. I know I'm playing is really safe, but it's not the time for danger. Alright. We, we absolutely know they have to be up here. So, let's have a look. Mr. Shiv. They don't actually see me yet. We haven't triggered him. I at least think we haven't. Uh, where can we get a shut up? I think we can shoot him from like, I'll just dash up here with him. He can't get a shot off yet. He probably could from like up here or something. So let's go all the way up. Nope.
thinking like I just throw smoke just in case. I mean, he should he shouldn't be able to see us. Oh wait, I maybe shouldn't have overwatched that. Wait, can you see me? Why can they see me? I didn't actually think that was the case. Okay, well, they're glitched up. I thought I was just on the very outskirts of where they were. These must have been the ones that triggered prematurely before. And now it's the game's kind of going to fuck me. How much damage do you take? Fuck! Well, he's critically wounded, so I can stabilize him. Oh my god, I thought I was just on the outskirts that they couldn't actually see me. Well, you know what? I owe it to Mr. Shiv, so... We can get two shots off, we can get one hit off, and we can also take out their cover, so let's do that. Oh, well, I killed him pretty much. Uh, I actually don't have any sniper shots. Now, uh, I have bad cover right now. Uh, let me see. I'm trying to think of the best way of doing this. Because it's like, it's bad cover right now. Like, that's, that's, that's pretty much where we stand. This guy can't even go. This guy's not allowed to go because if he leaves, um, I need to get back to Mr. Ship for, for R, some R&R &R and heals and shit like that. So let's go bring this guy up here. He can get a flank on him, so let's do that. I know it's crap cover, but yeah, I, I can't stay out in the open and do this. Okay, what's this, what's this guy's opportunity? Okay. For this guy, uh, I can kind of dash over here and then shoot someone, so let's do that. Mr. Shiv, we owe it to you. Okay, you know, in that case, I just, I, it's bad luck. It really was. And we missed. We're gonna just overwatch with both these guys. Oh, they're hitting him. He's got no cover either. Because I rocketed to open it up, because I assumed I would actually have both of them down. Why can't did my snipers not shoot? Alright, Mr. Shiv's gonna bleed out really soon. We got blood call. Fuck this thing. Oh, maybe not. Okay, I'll grenade one and then we'll kill the other. What's what we're gonna do? No, no, no. Uh, six for the killing grenade. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna kill this one with a grenade. Last one we'll kill with just uh well we may not actually be able to kill him. Uh well now actually do we have another grenade? Yeah, alien grenade. Not taking any chances with these guys. Oh, that sucked. I'm I'm kind of disappointed that that actually occurred like that. It, it went down like that. Alright. Well, this is why we have two medics with two revives available. Nothing but disappointment. It's it's a weird glitch because it's like you know I don't I don't really know what you think that I should have done there differently. But if as from my perspective though, um, I didn't think they were going to shoot next turn. And I and I and I thought to myself for just a second, I'm like, you know, maybe they will because it's just like I I remember there were some glitched out guys nearby. 
and and I thought about it to myself, and then yeah. So it's a good thing I put the smoke down. It may have been worse actually, but you know, you know, at least Mr. Shiv survived, so that's okay. Oh uh, well. All right. Well, let's do a little bit more healing. And the last guy's probably in the cockpit. Post commentary, Mike here again. So yeah, that was uh, I. I don't know what I, I, you know, after looking at that again, I'm kind of just, I'm a little bit still pissed off at myself, but all, because, you know, I should have expected the worst out of the game, to be honest. I really should have, but, you know, I, I kind of, and you can tell I kind of did, because I went to throw in the smoke otherwise. Anyways, in this situation, I'm, I'm pretty much guessing that the last guy's in the cockpit. I think I did mention that in my actual real-time commentary. And, uh, my plan was actually trying to try and get Dan to actually cover up, uh, up, up the top of that hill. Uh, because Dan still has really shit for, uh, for, uh, uh, armor. So I, I don't want to, I don't want him to die, to be honest. Like, I, li I like Dan. Sergeant Dan is pretty cool, but he's just like, I don't know. And then I, I kind of realized here later that the, the door is actually too small to have him there, so. Like, that, this is like a 50-minute video, like, more than 50 minutes. And then, you know, as, as I said, speeding this shit up, you know, this, I was able to condense it into, like, I think 40 minutes is what the end result is going to be, so. I don't know if you guys want to really see a fit full 50 minute mission. I, I just assumed you didn't, um, and because that's a lot of that's I, that's the upper echelon of like I don't really make my vi videos any larger than that. Typically, I don't like I don't like making really long long parts, but this one I didn't really have much of a choice. But whatever. Anyway, so we're about to go and breach and clear the cockpit, and uh, I guess we'll go see what uh, live commentary Mike how he handles that. What a dick. So, this is the worst situation for me because I really do not actually want to bring my snipers in for this for this kind of breach maneuver. But um, the gun, they have to come in. Like it's just we're not going in with like half our team. We're going in with our whole team. So we want to give everybody the max amount of moves they can possibly get, and and then we're gonna open this door. Now, uh, I'm not gonna- I would usually actually do something retarded when I do a door breach and I'd sometimes overwatch guys and then just let them shoot anything that kind of scurries around. But yeah, it's gonna see we should make room. every attempt to capture one of those creatures using the arc thrower. There doesn't seem to be much left when we attack outright. I've seen enough. I don't think there's any question now. The goal of this alien research is to the detriment of all mankind. Alright. We have one over here, and then one up there. Uh, what's, what else is in this room? Okay, there's there's another part to this room. I wouldn't be totally against like trying to like kill one of them. We only got 55 on him. So, you know, my snipers really should be what I lead off with. He's kind of in a really awkward position. Where did I put my heavy? My heavy is unfortunately not in a place that you can... Yeah, no. That, that was a really poor idea for me to put my heavy there. What is the uh, maximum damage on this sniper? Uh, the, okay, the pistol is about five, so... Alright, well, let's go. We do five there and a hundred here. 60% chance to critical. Aliens gets us nowhere. Our troops should focus on capturing one of them, not killing them. Okay, Mr. Shiv, get right behind him. Make a good friend here. Volkov will not be making the shot today with this uh, because it's just yeah. Instead, everyone's just gonna get turned. They're basically like, uh, get on the ground. Okay, that's the most that uh, we're gonna do. We're gonna get in terms of him, and we only get one stun left. Seventy percent. Does it actually go better if I? You know, there's no point in me not trying to get another shot off. I mean, like I, I got one more pistol try. There we go. I mean, this is as weak as he's ever gonna get. Let's see if it actually improved his odds. Yeah, ninety. There you go. Stun failed! Fuck off. Well, we got no choice now. We have to finish him off, so. You can't afford to squander these opportunities, Commander. 
please make every effort to stun this particular species of alien using the arc thrower. Well, shut the fuck up, I tried. What do you want me to do? God, she's so mean to me. Please fucking stun this creature. Uh, all I, I did, I tried to also get Berserker, so, you know. Don't worry, I'm gonna get another person with a stun gun. I, I just feel that I need the grenades with my other two people. Which, it, you know, I did end up actually using them, so. In the zone, or double tap. You know, someone was actually telling me, it's like, oh, you can get flank shots, because they're basically free shots. You basically are limited just by ammo. But the thing is, I'm not flanking people that often, if you haven't noticed. Double tap, though, is really nice. I'll take my double tap, and I'll love it. Alright, we got Savior, uh, which is... Uh, medics, medkits restore four more health per per use, or we can get Sentinel, which is we get two reaction shots over, on Overwatch. It's more of a fire support thing. Uh, we have him as a spec'd out as a medic, so we're actually okay. We'll leave him like that. We got some Illyrium and Berserker corpses and shit like that. Whoops. And how much do we have left? Why does it keep? Every time I have I go difficulty here. understanding how such an advanced species could show so little empathy for the lives of other sentient beings. It goes against everything we have ever imagined. The technology is there, but with it comes a callousness we would never have expected. What could have brought them to this? No, she's a fucking hypocrite. Cause she's the one who's like, like, she's like, oh, just before we killed them, we interrogated them. Like, oh, whatever happened to your, like, Hippocratic Oath or whatever the fuck you have. Additional workshop online. And our foundry's done now. Thank God, not a moment too soon. We need to get some serious research done. Foundry online. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. Okay. First time in the Foundry? It's not the prettiest, but some of our more interesting projects will certainly benefit from the adjustments made down here. We can get like an improved arc thrower, we can get more alien grenades. Oh, I, I, I think I used them for both that mission. Oh well. Maybe, maybe I'll consider that. We can get like uh, stealth satellites and some other shit, scope upgrade. Um, so we're gonna get, to start things off, ammo conservation. It's gonna take 15, it's gonna take 7 days to do that. We can actually get, we can actually get as much as we want. Like this is like, this is nothing to me. Doesn't even matter. Uh, Cell satellites I wouldn't be against, but you know, I don't really need them, I think. I think I'll be okay. I have an extra I have an extra satellite too. Uh, we can also get some improved pistol stuff. Sure, let's get that. Improved arc thrower, that would be definitely something I'd want. Uh, you can also get drone capture if you really want to. I, I'm not too much into that. You can get some improved med kit too, sure, why not? And that's it. Everything else is too expensive. That's why I saved my money. I'll send word to the Foundry crews now. You can follow their progress remotely from the project queue in engineering. Do we have any more, um, we have an autopsy, let's go do that. The men are calling this beast the Berserker, although it shares the same structure as the Muton, for reasons yet unknown to us. The Berserker seems to be consumed by bloodlust with little regard for its own safety. Yeah, I noticed that. Now we can make combat stims. And that's nice, but not really, because I'm not ever going to use them. Um, yeah, I don't really, I'm not really interested in that stuff. So let's go back to sniper research. Uh, yeah, we're still like, you know, kind of, where's the pit, where's the plasma pistol, I wonder? I don't know where the hell that is. Maybe it's a light plasma rifle. Uh, maybe not. I would actually really like to get, um... Hey, Mr. Shiv missed both things that round, but I'm gonna for, I'm gonna- He missed both people that round, but, uh... I'm gonna forgive him because, you know, he was a little stressed out by the fact he died. And there you go, plasma research complete. Plasma step rifle is ready for research. I don't know why we can't make this anymore. We need more weapon fr We're out of weapon fragments. Fuck. Well, we can't even make any of the- Oh, actually, no, that's not the problem. Oh, needs 50. Well, you know, I think I'm gonna go for something maybe like an EMP cannon. Or, cause you know, I'm, uh, since I'm so low on the weapon fragments, I maybe should just kind of give it a break. Uh, by the way, there's this thing called Archangel Armor that makes you fly. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's still using weapon fragments, so EMP cannon it is. Uh, I'm not gonna get the flying armor though. Commander, the council is requesting a direct link on the secure channel. Dr. Volan's interrogation technique certainly is efficient. You'd never know it by looking at her, but that woman is an alien's worst nightmare. <laughs> All right, so we get um, a new recruit of heavy out of this uh, panic reduction and reward, and they're in the. Uh, UN official and associates were caught in the middle of an, uh, an XCOM attack. So we have to escort someone to an ex uh, um, escort, um, bleh, to an extraction point. So we'll do that for next time. Excellent. We look forward to seeing your progress. We'll do that next time. So until then, we will be watching.